We've got a big day for baseball. It's the Colorado Rockies going up against the New York Mets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. First pitch moments away and on the mound in this one Jose Quintana it's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day when he's right he's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming on the same arm slot the same tunnel and that can make life very difficult on his opponents ready to go here's Charlie Blackman as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And it's a double to start the game. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws so in now for Colorado Ezekiel Tovar just missed Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And there's a strike of the outside corner. And a count one and one. And a strike. Man at second. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. Blackman over at second, one down. At the belt and fires. is going to count one and two. It's a good take. The one two. Wouldn't chase that time. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So back to back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boog, and you just don't want to get careless here. If you've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non issue. And now it's Elias Diaz. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Runner at second, two down.
next nope. offering is down low. And here it comes. On the ground. Boots it. And that extends the inning. Two gone with runners at the corners. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brendan Rogers. First offering, and it just misses. Corners are occupied with two down. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on, probably a challenge pitch coming. The two on. High fly ball out towards left field. Nimmo raging back towards the wall. Bounces off the wall as he makes a great grab. Oh, man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Back here in Queens, starting on the mound in this one, Cal Quantrill. He has a great ability to command a game boog, but in order for that to happen today, he's got to limit damage, make smart pitches, and avoid big innings. If he were a golfer, we'd say he needs to avoid any double bogeys out there, and if he does, his scorecard is going to look pretty good at the end of the day. Bottom of the first, here's the veteran shortstop, Francisco Lindor. The why to kick the pitch. Just missed. Francisco Lindor at the plate. The Mets shortstop originally drafted by Cleveland. And a guy with some serious power and an excellent defender. Called strike right there. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. And it's one and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Quattro back to work. Battling here as he fouls it away. Quantrill back to work. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Caught just shy of the wall. Here's a Mets lineup now. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. The pitch. They say you win. Righty delivers. 
and he grounds one to the right side. Rodgers to first. Play is made, two out. Good two-seam action right there, running away from the batter. Rolled over it, got the ground out. J.D. Martinez stands in. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. And it's fouled away. Two outs, bases empty. Stays alive. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes, Cal. Up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. He's safe. Here's Pete Alonso. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that's off the inside edge. One and oh. Righty to the plate. And another ball. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. Next pitch downstairs. Ball three. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Met strand one. We played an inning. No score. Back here at City Field. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brenton Doyle. The wind of the pitch. Misses outside. Ball one. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Now here's Nolan Jones. First pitch misses. One out, base is empty. pitch so a foul ball makes it one and two one down base is empty close but call the ball and it's two and two well clearly not too happy with the call there I thought he caught the top of the zone and you could pretty much read his lips saying that's not up Two two now. And they'll do it again. Second inning here, no score. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And downstairs. Oh. 
High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. It has the distance gone. A massive home run. It's one nothing. He kept swinging and it paid off. Well that was a battle Boog and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient and it paid off. Here's Michael Tolia. And that one hit to first. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Takes it himself, and he can't get there in time. One down. Here's Jake Cave now. On the ground, could be two. Over to McNeil. Over to Alonzo. Double play. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now Francisco Alvarez. Quantrill back to work. And that's in for a strike. That one finds the zone. And the count is 0-2. And the righty deals. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone. Now one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level. Have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. In the air. Out towards left center. Doyle grabs it on the run. That is good. Right here. Now it's DJ Stewart. Bounce to third. This looks like extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. Not in time. He's safe. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And now it's Mark Vientos. And there's a ball. The Rockies leading by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. And a foul ball. Here's a 1-1. And that one fouled off. This one in the dirt. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Stewart, the runner at second with one away. He goes down looking. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. Jeff McNeil stands in. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand batter waits. 
That one finds the corner, and the count is one and one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. One hit, one left. We play two full. It's the Rockies one and the Mets nothing. On to the third inning. Here's the Rockies' leadoff hitter, Charlie Blackman. Blackman, multi-time All-Star, a member of the 1,000-hit club, and he was a second-round pick back in 2008. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The pitch. Outside low. And that is ball one. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Not even close there. Full count now. And the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Left hand hitter waits. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. The pitch. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Tobar batting for the second time, and that's strike one. The pitch. There's the swing and a miss. There's a swing and a drive. And it one hops the wall. Around third. Oh, the throw is over his head. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Man, I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen. And just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap. He was digging hard the entire way. Stepping in, Ryan McMahon. That one fouled off. All these Rockies showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Blind into right. Makes the catch. Runner tags for home. To the plate. Save. And they're up by three. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it. But a really good job of getting that run in from third. 
it's still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Diaz takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Fastball for a strike. And a pitch. That's a strike. And a count one and two. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Two runs across in the inning. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Pitch in the dirt. The count now two and two. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. No, I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it, and kind of a gift at a two-strike count, but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Out to short. Fires over to first. Third out. They put two on the board. Only one hit. No errors. No one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Rockies three and the Mets nothing. And we're back. Set for the bottom of the third. Leading off, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader. Quantrill back to work. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Ripped to short. Sends it to Tolia. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Back to the top of the Mets order. Here's Francisco Lindor. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Well, here's a game Lindor will never forget. One night in July of 2023, he went 5 for 5 with a home run, two triples, and he scored three runs. That's oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. That'll make it out of here. A laser to left. And they're chipping away. It's 3-1. Man, he just barely got that one out of here. And you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it. Just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. So one out, nobody on. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Close one doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Hit hard, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. Reached on an infield single his first time. On the ground to third. And he grabs it in foul ground. Here comes a pitch. Laced in the left. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Couple of singles back to back. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. 
just missed. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Nimmo over at second. Martinez over at first with one away. Two on, one out. That's a strike. Swings over the splitter for strike three. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. And next for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. He's 0 for 1. First and second, two down. Right hater deals in the dirt, and that's ball one. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two on, two outs. And another ball. Base hit into the outfield. Here comes the throw. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Back here in Queens, and now Brenton Doyle. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced old Shea Stadium back in 2009. And Chipper Jones was really sad to see it go. It's actually the third home of the Mets since they started out at the Polo Grounds for two seasons before Shea was finished. It's in and out of his glove. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Here's the left fielder, Nolan Jones. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. One down, base is empty. And ball one. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Hot shot to third. Whips it across. Two up, two down. Now batting the first base. Two outs, base is empty. Michael Tolia digging in for the Rockies. And that one clips the corner. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. That's a little bit low. One ball, two strikes, down. Yeah. 
Swings and misses. Struck him out. One, two, three. Go the Rockies. And the score stays three to one. Back here at City Field, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, DJ Stewart. The right hander back to work. There's the strike. Well, these Mets do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. And that one hammered back gone. That should put a jolt into this home crowd. It's 3-2. This crowd is on fire right now. They're going nuts thanks to that home run. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Vientos stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. That's nope. down and in. The Rockies up by a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. But we just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. That one catches the zone. And now two and two. And another ball. Three, two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Went down on strikes his first time through. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Kicks and deals. Right through there for a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Got him. One away. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. And now Bader up to the plate. 0 for 1 so far. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Next offering is in for a strike. That's inside. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a base hit right there. And that keeps the inning going. Let's go. 
Francisco Lindor to the plate now. Fans love him, but he's pretty popular with the players, too. He certainly is, Boog. The player survey on MLB.com listed him as one of the friendliest infielders to chat with during a game. I'm sure he appreciates the recognition from his peers. Bader off of first with two away. That's outside. One ball, one strike. And he deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now a 3-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the right fielder, Jake Cave. As the lefty gets to work, that misses. One and oh. Up the middle. Throw sails over his head at first. And this ball is going to wind up out of play. For the offense, that's basically as good as a leadoff double. You got a man in scoring position. Great chance to put something on the board right now. So we'll see how they approach it. On the mound, he's feeling some early pressure that he's got to try to work through. Now it's Charlie Blackman. And a foul ball left side. Man at second. Fouled off. He was late. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. At the belt and fires. That one in the dirt. And a count one and two. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. Lifted in the air, out to left. Nimmo has it sized up. And there's one away. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar, one for two. And a good eye there. Runner at second here, one gone. And there's the strike. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Here's a 1-1. The shortstop takes a ball. Yeah, two balls, one strike. Wouldn't chase that time. One out and a runner at second. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So first and second with one man gone. Now Ryan McMahon. Base hit right field. Runner around third on his way to the plate. One runs in. The relay to the plate. In there. He's safe. 
and they lead by three. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Jose Quintana done for the afternoon, and he's responsible for the runner on second, so the book isn't closed on him yet. We'll be right back. Jose Buto takes over on the mound. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. Foul ball there. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch misses outside. And it's a ball and a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Adrian Hauser, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Diekman warming up as well. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And there's two away. That hanging breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter and Nothing more frustrating when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that till his next at bat. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Stairs and outside. Next offering in there for a strike. Strike one. Man on second, two down. That misses, two and one. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now 5-2. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning, and stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. And here it comes. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Kay makes the play, and there's one down. And Martinez. That one pushed foul. And a pitch. Ball one there. Action in the pen down there. Peter Lambert appears to be getting loose. Bodnick, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. The Rockies leading by three. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. And first offering is fouled off. Oh. 
smoked on the ground a second. Rodgers throws the first. And the Mets go 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Mets. And the deficit remains 5-2. Back here in Queens, top of the sixth inning. And stepping in is the speedy Brenton Doyle. Buto back to work. That one hammered left field. That's back there. Just missed it. Woo! He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. So up next, Nolan Jones. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Buto, 6'1 righty, 200 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-2. Action in the Mets bullpen. A right-hander is up and throwing. Bases empty, one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and... Right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Tolia up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Next offering is downstairs. Two outs. Chopped to the right side. And that one handled. Sends it to first, and that is that. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Rockies five and the Mets two. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Peter Lambert. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So. This is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. And the pitch. On the corner for a strike. It's 0-1. Activity in the bullpen. Nick Mears getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Right-handed reliever. Just missed. That one not close. Two and one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. DJ Stewart digs in now. He's already homered in this game. And that one is inside ball one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Two and oh. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Good hitters count the 2-0. And that's through there for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Swung on, belted. That one is back. See you later. Another homer. 
He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 5-4. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Out in front and foul to the left side. The pitch. And now the count is even. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next pitch off the play. Two balls, two strikes. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close. Got him. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. So up next for New York, Jeff McNeil. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. There's a strike. The Mets down by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Next offering is in for a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Gets a piece and stays alive. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Bader in the box now. No balls in a strike. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. Hits the fence. Now he'll turn for second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. All over that one right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it. And, man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. So the batting order turns over. And next for the Mets, Francisco Lindor. One for three. There's a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Bader on its second with two down. Good eye right there. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Man, it's second. That one is absolutely belted. Banks off the wall. The run scores from second. It's 5-5, five five. and that's a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a tie block, gets the call from the pen, and they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. So runner at second, two down. Now the left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it.
second home run of the inning for him. It's 7-5. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. So two down, and now the DH, J.D. Martinez. And first offering is fouled off. Inside corner for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Diaz on to first. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now 7-5. Back after this on the show. And we're back. We go to the top of the seventh. So in now for Colorado, Jake Cave. The pitch. Cave checks his swing, appeal to third, and Matthew Ross right on it, says he held up. And that's outside. All these Rockies, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Out to short, Lindor. Tosses across the first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. So the Rockies lineup turns over at the play. Charlie Blackman. Top of the zone for a called strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Stewart settles under this one, brings it in, and that quickly two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And first offering is fouled off. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Vientos whips it to first. That's the third out. Nothing doing for the Rockies. And they're down 7-5. to five. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. The wind and the pitch. Boogan, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump. And defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle. You can lose your mechanics. But the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way. And this is what this guy does. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. And as well, lots of pop in that bat, so you combine the slug with really good defense. That one missed. Yeah. 
payoff pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a 3 2. Fouls it back with two strikes. Three balls, two strikes to count. Hit hard. That gets through. So he ends up with a hit after seeing a lot of pitches. That was a good at bat. Well, wore him down after an extended plate appearance. It ends with a knock. At that point in a bat for a hitter, when you've seen that many pitches, you've gotten a look, you've fouled off pitches, so the confidence level is extremely high, and it seems like when you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Hammer, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And here is DJ Stewart looking for his third home run of the game. Yeah, he blasted his second of the game in the sixth inning. This guy looks like he's playing on beginner mode in this one. Beginner mode is where it's at, Chris. Hard ground ball, base knock. Alonzo is waved home. He's safe. <laughs> That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Didn't get cheated on that swing and squared it up perfectly. Came off the bat at 111, and when that's the case, the odds are very much in your favor as a hitter. The pitcher on here, Nick Mears. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. And stepping in for New York, Mark Vientos. And ball one. First and second, no outs. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Off the mark there. Now 2-0. Oh. And the righty deals. And another ball. And that's too high, ball four. Oh, this is their chance to break it open. If they don't end up winning this ball game, they're going to look back at this opportunity right here and have some regret. So up next for New York, Jeff McNeil. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. This one pulled down the line. It's hammered. This one hooking. It's got a chance. Ow. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. And that one fouled off. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points.
the one two he fouls it off will do it again next pitch is outside Alvarez the runner at third Stewart on second Vientos at first with no outs got him swinging I got to think that was the plan all the way he set him up with the high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging now especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days that's a devastating combination. And now Harrison Bader drove it off the wall last time just missed out on a home run and there's a foul ball righty delivers swing and a miss and he got him to chase one out base is full next pitch is downstairs and there's a ball pitch hacks and misses it's a strikeout I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted but it worked he got the swing and miss and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone now up to hit Francisco Lindor he blasted one out earlier in the third just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Righty to the plate. That's inside. Two balls, no strikes. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. There's a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Two outs, bases are full. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to third. And he won around. Just enough that time. Pitches in the dirt. And it's three and two. Into center. Gets there. He's under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 8-5. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Adam Adovino. Now the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. The Rockies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Stewart under this one. And there's one down. And here's the catcher, Elias Diaz.
on the ground to short Lindor whips it to first and there are two outs. Brendan Rogers now at the plate 0 for 3 a fly out a ground out and a strikeout. Well it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth that closer's coming in. Misses inside and it's one to know. Hard hit left side. Toss to Alonzo. That's out number three. Rockies are down quietly. Still looking up at an 8-5 deficit. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Victor Vodnik. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now the number two hitter, Brandon Nimmo. The left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. And a pitch. Clips the corner, strike one. Swings through that one out in front that time. Battling here as he fouls it away. Kicks and fires. Nimmo tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Left hand batter waits. Not close with that one. Now two and two. Just off the inside edge. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. That one misses. So a lead off walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. And here is J.D. Martinez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch doesn't find the zone. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. That one misses, and the count is even two and two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. That one back, and that is gone. The two run shot, it's 10 5. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. Put together a great at bat last time, really battled, ended up with the base hit. Right through there for a strike. Kicks and deals. Pitch misses, and it's one and one. 
Nobody on, nobody out. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now, D.J. Stewart in the air to left down the line. Fair ball. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Number 43 will take over here. Huge opportunity to add on to the lead for this offense right now, but we'll see what he has to say about that. He's going to have to make some great pitches to work out of this jam, though. Two on with one out, and here is Mark Vientos. Out towards left center. Jones has a beat on it and makes the grab. Runner tags from third. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. Nice save on the offline throw as he makes the tag inning over. All set to start the ninth in this one. So in now for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. Adovino, 38 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2006. Swing and a miss. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Jake Diekman, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. Number 72, getting loose as well. Pitch misses there, and one and one. Swing and a miss. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split-finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. And there's one down. He's two outs away. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. Check swing of the first pitch. Looked down to third, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Pitch misses there, and the count is one and one. Bounced out to short. Lindor on the first. Two up, two down. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Rockies down to their last out. Michael Tolia getting ready to hit. Oh. 
And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball. Adovino is just one strike away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that'll do it. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. And your final, 10-5. to 5. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.